एम ट्वेंटी टर्मिनल बेलिस्टिक पार्ट फोर देर आर सेवरल आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ टर्मिनल बेलिस्टिक्स इन एडिशन टू रिकॉशेट विच हैज़ बिन डिस्कस्ड इन पार्ट थ्री द रिकॉशेट ऑफ द बुलेट टेक्स प्लेस एट क्रिटिकल एंगल एंड इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट to estimate the critical angle because of the involvement of a large number of factors such as the shape of the bullet the nature of surface from which the bouncing of bullet takes place or recasting of bullet happens there are however many more aspects which need to be discussed and they are the angle and velocity of the projectile which strikes the target the effect of intermediate targets third can be the angle at which this bullet has struck normally it is the right angle at which the bullet strikes and it makes a circular hole but it is not necessary in many cases due to gyroscopic effect the bullet rotates and the circular hole may not be there but the its shape gets changed the gyroscopic effect may be lost after hitting the target and the bullet may tumble down all these effects are required to be covered up in the terminal ballistics it may be necessary to point out that the maximum range as calculated theoretically and as found practically are different the maximum range of bullet takes place around 29 degrees and not as per calculation theoretical calculations made otherwise the angle of 29 degree gives maximum range up to around 36 degrees there is not much variation however after that the range starts decreasing i would like to explain to you that the circular hole may get its shape change to oval depending on the angle of striking and if the angle of striking is oblique the shape becomes oval and it goes on increasing in its obliquely as long as the angle goes on changing if the circular hole may not be there sometimes there is only entrance hole and there is no exit hole the reason for this could be that the bullet or the projectile has remained inside the body and has not come out or it has come out through a natural opening like ear or mouth and it has not been detected by anyone and also not found inside the body and at the same time there is no exit wound so we have to see all types of effects of the bullet on the target when considering the range or effect of the terminal ballistics so far as living targets are concerned such as birds animals or human beings it is required that we consider them as non uniform mediums and the injuries caused depend upon the organ which gets struck by the bullet sometime you may find a person gets a fatal injury if it is on a vital part and he may not get fatal or death 
in spite of lot of blood has flown from the body and it is seriously injured also it depends upon whether the injury is superficial or deep and the part of body which has been struck by the bullet thank you dear students after studying this module you shall be able to know about certain factors which are essential in terminal ballistics various influences determining the effect on terminal ballistics and similar other indispensable parameters let us start with striking angle number 1 is right angle when the bullet strikes the skin at right angle the entrance wound has a circular appearance according to range of fire in certain circumstances however a bullet entrance wound may be irregular in shape even though the weapon was fired at right angle the spin which is implied to bullet when it is fired produce a gyroscopic effect on the bullet and its motions are therefore comparable to those of a spinning top like a spinning top a bullet has a right itself and may commence to wobble again when it slows down if the skin is struck by a wobbling bullet the enhanced wound may be of irregular shape resembling the wound produced when the skin is struck by a fragmented bullet next is obliquely when a bullet strikes the skin obliquely the entrance wound would be usually oval it is indicative of the fact that barrel of the gun was inclined in comparison to the surface the direction of inclination indicated by the property of the wound to one or other end of the burn area the end nearer the wound is the direction from which the bullet entered and the other direction to which the shot traded thus if the wound is near the upper end of an oval patch of burning its position suggests that the shot traveled from downwards this area will also be blackened by unconsumed carbon the blackening can be cupped off with a damp ridge with the increase of obliquity of fire the wound gets more elongated in the shape if the skin is struck at a tangent penetration may fail to occur and only a slight furrowing of skin is produced the scratching blackening and tattooing patterns also get affected by the angle of fire in right angle fire circular marks are created whereas angular fire creates elliptical shapes next is angles smaller than critical angles if the striking angle at the target is less than the critical angle the projectiles may record the comparatively soft nature of the material may however resist ricochet unless angle is low enough and target surface is suitable all hard long and curved surfaces may cause projectiles to ricochet and cause grazing then we have low angle firing the angle of fire practically does not change the wounding effects of the shotgun if the same gets fired from close and intermediate range since most of the charge will enter the body as a whole if the angle is very low and the projectiles exhibit a glancing impact these may may escape without causing any serious injury as far as distant shots are concerned they do affect wounding power of shots by spread ending of the charge in two opposite manners when the spread of shots is such that part of the charge escape from coming in contact with the body it gets wasted hence damage to the body is less if the angular fire increase the hit area the wounding power of the shot 
increase as the number of projectiles hitting the target will be more, thus greater amount of energy gets transferred causing greater damage to the body. Next is angle of elevation of the barrel. With small arm bullets, it has been established that the maximum range is attained at an elevation of about 29 degree. From 29 degree to 35 degree, there is a little increase in range. The angle of elevation at which maximum ranges is obtained is called the critical angle. An elevation in axis of 35 degree, the maximum range attained begins to decrease. There is no simple and accurate way of determining the maximum range of a bullet, though several highly workers are presented highly complicated methods for this purpose. Now, let us see striking velocity. In general, the wound produced by the firearm is dependent on the size of the missile and the speed with which the missile strikes the body apart from the range of fire and target sight. The ideal shape to overcome resistance of the air has been found in streamlined bullets. The streamlined bullets have not become popular and are not used in actual practice since ideal projectiles require extreme care during their manufacture. The striking velocity of a projectile has great influence on the nature and extent of damage caused to the body tissue. The energy of a projectile is proportional to the square of the velocity and its mass. If the velocity is double, the energy of the missile will become four times. The exact formula of energy, which is represented as E of a projectile with velocity with V, is E is equal to half mv square, where m is mass of missile. The constructional feature of the bullet also plays an important role in causing extensive wounds. When the Mark 6.303 bullet did not stop the Afghans, the British used dum-dum bullets, which were soft at the nose. They fragmented on striking and caused extensive wounds. The dum dum had no greater energy than the standard but in lines of capacity to cause serious injury, it was far superior. If the velocity of missile is in the range 600 to 1100 per second, explosive wounds are formed. Now let us see nature of various types of targets. Living targets such as birds, animals and human beings are not uniform targets hence injuries caused may be serious or superficial depending on the part of body fired at a human body is having about 80 percent of water distributed non-uniformly along with places having bones muscles and blood vessels frontal attack on the human body caused more serious wound than the injury from the backside since the protective tissue of the frontal side of the body is much smaller, whereas average depth is about five times on the back side of human being, part of the body hit by a projectile plays a very important part. If a projectile cuts the skin only, it may not cause any significant harm. This happens under different conditions including ricochet of projectiles, if a shot injures the brain, the heart or the spinal cord of a person, the person is disabled almost at once. Very often, the injuries are fatal. Now let us see the instability of bullet and target. The effect of instability of projectile in the initial stage of its flight on the nature of wound is immense. The projectile is wobbling it may not therefore strike the target in nose on position. Instead, it may strike on side on position, producing what is called as keyhole wound. If the projectile ricochet or brushes against some light material, it may also produce keyhole at the target.
the extent of instability depends on a number of factors dependent not only on the projectile but also on the firearm and cartridge the effect of the intermediate target depends upon the material of the targets its tensible strength thickness and elasticity the intermediate targets usually increase the spread of the pellets or buck shots it is an essential requirement while estimating or investigating the range of firing from the final spread on the body of a person the influence of the intermediate target is taken into consideration the wearing apparel has practically little effect on the ballistics of the projectiles if the gun shot is fired from close or intermediate range a thick target can reduce the velocity of missile so much that fatal wounds are not produced if the nature of the intermediate target is known workable estimate of the range can be obtained by test firing through a similar intermediate target then comes influence of intermediate target if the intermediate target is thin and soft such as shirt it may not have any influence on the wounding power of the projectile or ballistics to any significant extent intermediate target may increase the spread of projectiles the projectiles may hit some of the projectiles may cause a billiard ball effect of getting slowed down by the obstruction of the intermediate target increasing the velocity and change of direction of some of the projectile it may result in carrying off backscatter marks and range of direction of the line of fire if fragmentation of the intermediate target take place the fragments may cause separate injuries on the intended target by showing behavior of secondary missile if the material of the projectile is soft it may pick up the pattern from the intermediate target surface and carry it along into the target and may prove of immense help in the reconstruction of the firing exercise other factors influencing the wounding capabilities immediately after leaving the barrel the bullet is in a slight unstable condition which is due in the main to three factors yaw precession and nutation let us start with yaw yaw can be described as the angle between the longitudinal axis of a projectile and its line of flight as exists before the bullet achieves full gyroscopic stability then precession this is the rational effect of bullet is about its mid axis then the last one is nutation this is the progressive corkscrew motion of the bullet this action is very similar to the wobble observed immediately after a top or gyroscope is initially set spinning and is a function of the spin rate being too great as in a top these factors eventually settle down to a stable flight pattern which in rifles can be anything up to 200 yards it is this initial instability that often accounts for the far greater close range wounding effects of hard jacketed rifle bullets when compared to those at greater distances there is a fourth condition which imparts a sideways drift to the bullet's path called either spin drift or gyroscopic drift this is to the right for right handed rifling and to the left for left handed it is caused by air pressure under the slightly nose up attitude of the bullet as it descends its trajectory this effect is rarely only noticeable on extreme range rifle bullets or artillery shells angles of yaw have only received detailed examination in military weapons for example the measured angle of yaw for a 
303 rifle bullet is 1.5 degree and for a 5.56 mm M16 rifle bullet 6 degree. This yaw does have a pronounced effect on the wounding capabilities of the missile. The greater the degree of yaw, the greater is the wounding effect of the bullet. This effect also explains the commonly observed effect of a rifle bullet having greater penetrative powers at 200 yards than at the muzzle. Now let us see relative stopping power. Bullet performance and wounding capabilities is another subject surrounded by myth and misinformation. In many ways, it is understandable as the number of factors how a bullet react on entering a human body is so diverse as to make a scientific study of the subject virtually impossible. If the body were made uniformly from a material of constant density, it would be extremely simple to simulate the effect of a bullet, but it is not so as has been discussed already. The results were quite interesting in that the higher velocity small caliber bullets, even when they had a soft or hollow point, caused no shocking power at all. The shocking power was in fact found to be proportional to the cross-sectional area of the bullet with velocity being only of secondary importance. The tests were carried out on cadavers that could not give any indication on propensity for a round to incapitate the subject. The smaller caliber bullets had virtually no effect on the animals at all. The 0.38 caliber bullets had little effect until the 6th or 7th shot had been fired. Only the 0.45 and above caliber bullets were found to have an appreciable effect on the first shot, firing into human cadavers and live animals or both. However, extremely sensitive subjects and are open to much adverse comments. In an attempt to set some standard by which a bullet's performance may be measured without shooting cadavers or animals made different materials have been used to simulate body tissues. The only medium which gave a close approximation to the effects of a bullet on human tissue is ballistic gelatin. Dear students, now let us summarize this chapter. So in this chapter we have learned that when the bullet strikes the skin at right angle, the entrance wound have a circular appearance according to range of fire. When a bullet strikes the skin obliquely, the entrance wound would be usually oval. It is indicative of the fact that barrel of the gun was inclined in comparison to the surface. Then we have come to know that if the striking angle at the target is less than the critical angle, the projectiles may ricochet. With small arm bullets, it has been established that the maximum range is attained at an elevation of about 29 degree. Then we have found that if the projectile ricochets or brushes against some light material, it may also produce keyhole as the target. The effect of the intermediate target depends upon the material of the targets, its tensile strength, thickness and elasticity. And lastly, in this chapter we have learned that the projectiles may hit some of the projectiles causing a billboard ball effect of getting slowed down by the obstruction of the intermediate target, increasing the velocity and change of direction of some of the projectiles.